Oh, let me do this. Three, two, one, go. Okay, time to take you down. Anchor shot. Ha! Ow! Why not? Yeah, yeah. Anchor shot. Ha! Okay, yeah, good. Than first one of the day. Not, not not having to reset in the first three seconds feels good. And arrived. Up. Alright, that was nice. I got both of those skip travel menus without lag. Which is really good. Demand a do-over. Yay! One crowd, not two. Feels good. Actually, I feel like my TV might be a little bit too loud. I don't want it like um, echoing into my mic with my uh, capture cards audio as well. So I'm gonna lower that a little uh, bit when I get a chance to. Okay, thank you. 
thank you for letting me know. Sometimes I worry about that, because that is, uh, it's not very good for audio. Ugh, I slept like a baby. Five fifty, that is something I have never seen before for a time like this. Or upon entering the ship, that's a first for me, I would say. Well, it can't be first because it's not gold, but it is very rare I get a five fifty entering ship. So that means they're already off to a good start in this run. But it is very likely that I mess up this uh, ship clip here in like I'm two or three right. minutes. Because <laughs> sometimes I'm just all who at it and we'll have to reset a run or two just because I can't clip through the wall. When did it get so late? That was a bad jump down to the uh, the floor there. Jin, don't move all the way over there. Just stay in one place and keep attacking. Please. Right, you're gonna Skyward Slash. Oh, you missed the Skyward Slash. Oh no. I don't know how I lose four seconds there. That's awful. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yep, it's gonna be one of those runs. Oh no, we're good. Okay. Had an easy time with this clip, that's nice. Feels good. Eight twenty getting this clip is typically a time I like to have. Okay, time to take you down. I have had times where, uh, it'll be, uh, I'll be entering this at, like, 8.10 or something like that, which is insane to me. Get the hell out of dodge, please. Oh, that was a really good fight. Nah, that was very nice. Sub 910, I think, is generally a very good uh, Alego fight, or pace to be coming out of Alego. Okay, those two crits right off the bat were nice. Let's do this. 
Spiral Summit! Why not? Blind Spah! So Bash! Oh no, you don't! No effect! Please stop. Stop blocking me. He blocked the sword bash. Had he not blocked that, that probably would have killed him. That that is dumb. But sub eleven chapter one is pretty pretty good. So I will not complain about that. It's kind of it's kind of hard to get a sub eleven. Well, not hard to get a sub eleven chapter one. It's just really how much are you willing to reset for? RNG on the uh, fights, since uh, Jin and Malice are basically your damage for these fights, so you can only rely on them to do good moves and not do dumb moves. That's more so where all the time losses, and also how fast you get the uh, ship clip, which for me personally is just a matter of like, how long does it take me to clip through the initial wall. From there it's pretty easy and straightforward. I also stand to lose a substantial amount of time to uh, the Brog here, since I do a riskier uh, way of going about it, where um, other runners will love source Pyra beforehand, and that does like 15% more damage with her. So the fight is a little easier, I, would, I guess, uh, but I just <laughs> play risky here and don't do that till later. It saves like 5 seconds of menuing time. All for five seconds. <laughs> but I think in PB this fight actually went perfect. Um, so if it doesn't go perfect, but like reasonably good, I still lose like 10 seconds, I think. And arrived. <laughs> All in one piece. Get the word, yeah. and I will unleash my fire. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> Eagle eye. Eagle eye. That was a lot of, lot of misses right there. Very big string of misses. I think that's a good HP to hold. Nice break, okay. We won. We basically won. Well, that was really lucky getting that break. <laughs> so yeah, if she didn't get the break there uh, for the fusion combo damage, it quite possibly could have been a range, and I probably would have had to pray I can sword bash or double spinning edge uh, the uh, Brog before it predations there. On top of losing like 5 or 10 seconds with that. And also, I, I don't remember how much I counted for my first puzzle tree with spot, but I know I, I think I just got 3 from there. I have bad memory. <laughs> Or more so, I was talking, describing other things. But Puzzle Tree would count as looking fine for now.
I call upon the power of fire. Come out, come out. Okay, I got one puzzle tree wood under there, that's alright. two more that puts me at I think six or seven for puzzle tree wood if I'm not mistaken so that I'm pretty sure I got one from the very first one one, one three one I, I don't know there, there's gonna be another chance I can check how much puzzle tree wood I have Without like having to open a menu or anything, um, right after the rigid fight. But I know I have over five, which is a uh, pretty pr pretty average um, entering Torga. There's gonna be two more spots I can check before going hey, into Torga. Congratulations. Treasure acquired. And where you? Let us go. I like that I'm at least getting one puzzle tree wood from all these spawns. That's nice. Wow. What have we here? Would you look at that? That is quite something. I feel very confident on my puzzle tree wood count entering Torgal. Like, I know for sure I should at least have seven. Six or seven. Which is okay. I stand a reasonable chance of having all puzzle tree wood uh, before Uman. Because if you don't have all puzzle tree wood, you're likely losing like 15 seconds at a minimum to farm puzzle tree wood. When on average you should already have it by then. And, uh, you know, sub-4 attempts can't really... It's kind of unacceptable to have that when going for sub-4.
Nice one! That takes care of that. Time to take you down. Rex, you're done. Let's go. Ha! Don't forget. Take me out. 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 Take me That's all right, though. Okay, time to take you down. I can take done. care of myself. Ow! Ow. Oh, you can't do that. You're, You're done. done. Why not? Rush so down. Big alive. You're done. So yeah. Uh, Nia, are you gonna break her? Okay, I'm, I was just making sure she did that so the heat combo is still extended. Alright, break her again, please. Okay, that's good. I was gonna I was about to say, Nia, when is your uh when is your uh steam explosion gonna go up? This should kill, I think, at this range. That feels bad. I'm gonna lose some time here. Okay, now that feels very bad. And on this split, I could have even gained like a. I had a time saved to gain like 15 seconds there. But Nia didn't. Nia got. I think she got resisted. Her first break got resisted, so. That sucks. Just defeated Leon Telethia in solo show at level 33. That's impressive. Very impressive. Well, I don't even know. How are you able to, like, self-sustain yourself? Menu idea. Look forward to that later. Being level 33. Or even do enough damage to her. Um, when she has... Doesn't she have uh, the super aura that... uh? Heals her. Oh no, you have purge. My bad. Wait. I wasn't thinking. <sighs> Alright, I just have to not think too hard on the time right now. Because this this run was going good. This run before rigid, the run was pretty good. Pretty good pace. Now it's a okay pace. <laughs>
Oh, you, I, you farmed Gogols before. <laughs> Is my mic really that noisy? Or... Or what? <laughs> nah, ti the timer can be very tilting. But, like, I'd rather have it on than not. <laughs> In most cases. I could still be on a very good pace coming out of uh, Chapter 2 here. I just... It's, I have to decide if I want to play bold or not and just not pull any blades. <laughs> Which I'm gonna pull blades anyways, just to see if I'm in a group that has a high chance of Boreas. Because if not, then it's straight up, uh, I'm straight up resetting. Because there's one group where getting Boreas is like almost like not possible at all. And that's group 4. Oh, no mic. Oh, I'm gonna fix that sometime eventually, then, soon. I didn't know I had no, no mic in the title. I just ran with the same stream title I had from last time. So, um, I, I'll be able to fix the title after chapter 2, most likely. I'll have a, a bit of downtime after this chapter to fix it. But until then, I'll have a, uh... Incorrect title. I'm a sweaty tryhard. I am a sweaty tryhard. Um, I could see that. Um, the XE2 is pretty fun. I really enjoy the speedrun of it. It's like the first game I really tried to competitively speedrun, I would say. Must have sensed our skill. I really got into I have like over, yeah. I would say easily over a thousand hours in this, just speedrunning it. <laughs> Yeah, I hope, uh, I hope whenever you get around to doing Astral Chain runs that they're fun. I need to get back into doing them soon, cause, uh, I want to do an all cutscenes, uh, run for it, for a marathon. And, uh, by that time comes around, I may or may not have forgotten the route. Or I could, I could just do NG+, Plus. I didn't really specify which one, whether I'd be doing NG or NG+. Plus. Coming back to Astral Chain talk. Oh no. I was kidding, Shem. I was kidding. I wasn't being serious. I was talking uh, metaphorics. I mean, um, are you talking about Torna as in the speedrun or just Torna the game itself? By dodging X E two. I don't know what you mean by that. Meh. Meh. Long journeys make Tora tired. What will we find? New ability.
You're all mine. Leave Napan to Poppy. Alright. Now we get to talk to 20 Napan back to back to back. Please jump up there. <laughs> Alright, that's two. Yeah, that's understandable. That's why I've only ever did a run of a, an NG Plus run of Torna. Because I didn't really like all the side questing at all. Generally, when I play JRPGs, I don't ever really do uh, side quests in general. I just do main story stuff, unless I really like a game. Like, even in this game, I haven't done all the side quests. Past, like, Chapter 3. Let's see what pity group we are. Cora, I don't I don't like that. Alright, I'm inclined to believe I'm group two. Okay, Finch is kind of worrisome. Cause I might be group four instead. <laughs> Because I also pulled Korra, so I'm not completely sure. But I'm I'm gonna believe I'm group two. And we're gonna pray that I get Boreas in chapter four. If I don't get Boreas in chapter four, I'm not gonna finish the run. Or I might just reset. Uh these are in a wrong order, I would say. I don't normally have them in this order. My pouch items. Oh yeah, I'm gonna fix. I'm gonna fix that. Um, after this chapter, my stream title. I just w went live without changing my title at all. <laughs> That's completely on me. Wrong category. Oh no. <laughs> okay, let's make a start. Or I'll be streaming Xenoblade Chronicles 2 under the Xenoblade Chronicles category. Um, so what all did I pull? Uh, I pulled. Only thing really useful I pulled was. Wow. Finch. Finch could be useful if I end up pulling Perun. And I pulled Adenine, which is Kenai Wind Mastery. So that means I need two fires, two earths, um, and then Boris and Prune, and we are we are good. Uh, we are set on the run. What have we here? I do not like that. I just got two vinegar leaves there. I need two more puzzle tree wood, and I have two spots left to check optimally. Uh, but wow. 
I have a very, I have a little inclination to believe that the game is gonna throw hard and not give me the two puzzles she would. From the spots, costing me like 15 seconds at the minimum. Uh, yes, it's used in the speed run. It saves like four, it saves straight up four minutes in one area alone. And like minor time saves here and there. Without zombie hovers, sub 4 would have been way, way more tight, way more difficult to have gotten by now. Because, like, the current world record uh, without zombie hover would be, like, like a 401, 402. Oh, you said zombie jump. Uh, you're talking about zombie hover. My bad. There, we don't have zombie jump in this game. We have zombie hover. Zombie jump is exclusive to uh, Torno speedruns. That's what make them makes them cool and interesting. Poppy power. Also, I don't know why my chat box is so small on my screen. I don't know why I haven't fixed it yet. <laughs> and arrived. It's an adventurous life for me. Only I was five hundred years younger. Oh, just watch this yes. quietly. No. I'm not as ahead as I could be. But, uh, I will take this pace, I guess. Oh yeah, um, zombie hover does, uh, zombie jump does hurt your hand a lot. There's a rhythm to it, but I'm terrible at rhythm, so I just end up mashing my hands together on the controller. Yeah, I'm, I'm so, so glad we got a cross up there. That was, that was looking a little scary whether or not I would have pulled her. <laughs> and Corvin too, I'm very glad. Corvin. We pulled a Corbin with a, a the five percent chance of getting him without fail. Stop being bad. There we go.
Oh yes, I will. I will pull Mithra. <laughs> yes, I will do that. I will pull Mithra at the beginning of chapter four. I promise. Please don't. Why are you running? Why are you running? Uh, I don't know if I got that potion or Rex did. I'm gonna assume Rex did. I can't use my potion! Let me use my potion! Don't topple, please don't topple. That was so bad because I couldn't use my, uh... My special, because Dougal ran away from me. Uh, it's been known about for a while. It's I would say it's been used a lot. Like, it's nothing new. It saves, like, I think 15 seconds. I can't exactly remember the number. It's, it's also kind of obscure, I would say. It's not one of the more known about, uh, skips. Because of how little time it saves. And those two potion drops right there is pretty nice. Why are you running all the way over there? Nice topple, that was a perfect topple, Tora. Get absolutely wrecked, more egg. <laughs> oh, don't kill, don't kill. No! I actually didn't want uh, that to kill. So that I get a, a joint combo finish, which uh, gets me bonus experience. <laughs> it's probably because I got like four or five potions, which you only really need three, I would say, to safely kill uh, with break. So that kind of feels bad, <laughs> a little. But 44 minutes coming out of chapter 2 is alright. It's okay. It's nothing spectacular. Theor theoretically, theoretically, uh, you can, uh, I, I think a really good pace without pulling any blades at all would be like a low 43 with early Corbin route. Or at least that's what I've had on a, a offline run. Puzzle Tree Wood. Okay, I need this last puzzle, this last spot to give me a Puzzle Tree Wood. Or else it's gonna feel bad having 9 out of 10 Puzzle Tree Wood. So let's hope the game doesn't troll me. I'm also gonna go ahead and fix my stream title. So I think in chapter three here, I can I can gain almost over a minute from fights alone. 
But then it's like, I also can just lose 40 seconds at the end, just due to uh, Mako's RNG. Where, uh, you want to, you need a break to basically, uh, quick kill him. And if you can't quick kill him, you're gonna have to chain attack, which takes 40 seconds. Alright, please give me Puzzle Tree Wood. Thank you, game. I was gonna be very upset if I didn't get the Puzzle Tree Wood. Alright. So, I mean, we're currently on a, a okay pace. Um, nothing, it, the pace I'm on doesn't really matter at all. Um, nothing is de decided yet of how good of a pace I'm on until like after chapter 4. Cause chapter 4 is when blade pulls happens. Or blade pulls happen, and uh... That is really what determines the kind of pace you'll be on. Um, I don't recall how many vegetables I got here the first time, but I need 12 vegetables. I think that's more than enough. I think I recall getting 5 or 6. That's just what happens to pop in my mind, so I'm gonna trust that. Nope, oh, nope, don't go to the Titan Battleship, please. That's on, because when I clicked on Titan ba Battleship, I got some skip travel delay and couldn't immediately just exit out of that menu. Alright, you know? and I'm having some menuing hiccups here. Um, insanely dumb OP boss. Uh, for the DLC category, I guess you could say it's Makos. Makos is a insanely OP boss. If you if you don't know what you're doing, it's not like it's not like it's a fight that can go out of control. Um, as as or is likely to go out of control, like uh, Lorthea. Makos, I would say Makos for the most part in DLC is pretty tame and pretty consistent all around, as long as you know what you're doing. Whereas with Lower Thea, I feel like it's just a crapshoot, like, you just really pray for the best. <laughs> you pray to God you have chain attack up to constantly uh, chain her, so that she doesn't uh, call her second ads, or sevens her ads again. Um, if you do everything right, uh, no, I wouldn't say there's any fight like that, but I, I can compare it to say that, uh, if you don't get a break, yes, some fights will just be completely lost. You can't win a fight if you don't get a certain break. Doing certain setups like uh, Ion, for example, the final boss. If you don't get a break, you're gonna lose. You you basically kill your run there. If you don't get the break with cross set strats, your run is dead. 
which is very brutal after a four hour run. But you know, it's the fastest way to kill it, so we have to rely on it when you're going for a PV or a world record or whatnot. Um, but I don't think anything, for the most part in XE2, a lot of the stuff you do in fights is in your control. Unless enemy AI decides to like, do whatever, which can happen. I will say sometimes it can happen. I've seen various fights where uh, the boss will just maul on uh, Nia, for example, and knock me down, knock me back, topple me, and launch me, whatever, for like a constant 30 seconds. I've, but it's very rare that happens, though. Various fights can do that to you, but it's like unlikely or unluck just unlucky that that does, I would say. I guess I guess one thing with the DLC category that's kind of out of your control is so the main the main way uh, with fight the main thing with fights is we want to get potions up with cross set because every time she collects a potion her damage increases by uh, anywhere from 60 to 100 percent. Uh, so the thing that's out of control is where your allies are gonna move for the most part and uh, where the potions land specifically because if they land on your allies then uh, cross set will not get the uh, increase. It has to be Nia picking it up, or her driver, I mean. So uh, you see some potions just landing on my allies, that I don't want that to happen, that's very uh, not good. Or I you know, just don't want that to happen. I'm gonna try to break you. Nice, okay. This fight was terrible. Yeah, that was not a great fight. I lose I'm losing like over almost twenty seconds of that fight. That is awful. It's pretty pretty bad. I guess part of that can be due to having me having to get that extra puzzle tree wood spot though. Yeah, that's just, well, with this game, with XE2 at top level play, it, it honestly kind of just becomes a contest of who, who gets better RNG. Like, uh, the more you play this game, the more you get invested into the speed, and you're going to quickly realize that uh, to get a really good time, you're going to have to be very reliant on the RNG. RNG is going to have to play very nice to you, with uh, giving you... Uh, first, first and foremost, the, the greatest blade pulls, uh, or good blade pulls, um, and then second is the fight RNG with breaks. That's like the second most important. If you're just like try, just you just want to speed run this game just to speed run it, and you're not worried about a competitive time or whatnot, it's not going to be. It's not really going to be all that bad, I would say. Like, you, you can finish a run. You can complete a run in a reasonable amount of time. If you're not worrying about that stuff. And still have fun and whatnot. Whereas with, like, XCDE, you kind of just... It's a lot more knowledge intensive. Of what you're doing. And also, I would say, like, the fights in XE, the f honest, the fights in the, the XCDE speedrun aren't all that engaging, to be honest. Like, I'm not even talking about the fights, like, at the end, where we're, like, level 90. Like, all, th all throughout the whole run, since we're, like, level 50, everything is kind of free. There's only very few fights you need a certain strategy for. But mostly everything is just spam shulk arts. Oh no, let me not say that. 
But you know what I mean. <laughs> I wouldn't say completely just spam shell cards, but. Uh... Oof, that's tough. Yeah, Lorothea has typically ended a lo lot of my runs. In D, or like, the four or five runs I've done of it. But that's probably actually because of my fault, because I didn't grind enough from the Gogol farm. As to why she's ended my runs, because I wasn't level 70 with one of my characters. So I can't really be mad at Lorothea, that's my own fault. <laughs> I'm gonna go get this potion. Oh, that didn't kill! Why not? Feels sad. I definitely want to start getting joint combo finishes so I get some uh, bonus experience. Oh yeah, farm is also a big part of what kills the run for DE for me. Like it's only, like I get that it's like only 30 minutes of grinding which isn't too bad but it's very easy to like fuck up go go grinding or just dumb placement with where the gold will spawn when you reload. That can just mess it, mess it up. Because, I mean, it's also very easy to monotonously, monotonously uh, keep on doing it. I need this. That takes care of that. I might just, for fun, arbitrarily just nice. start running it. And just have a save where I just load it. That's after a uh, go grinding. And just do that for fun. But I'm probably gonna do, go ahead and um, if I can get world record in this sometime soon, I'm I definitely want to do a 1.12 uh, blind run. Those look fun. I saw Mollus and Boz do it. Uh, yeah, just yesterday, just yesterday, actually. I'm, you can grind, uh, I'm thinking that's probably what I would do for that counter kind of run, is grind the Lion Slot armor early. Oh, and I am, I should have special here. That's me not paying attention. I think I'm gonna go for nuclear blast, uh, strategy here. So I'm gonna wait for Rex to swap off and pray for a break. Please break, please break. Of course not! Well, this is my run. Please, somebody get me. I hate, I hate myself. I wasn't paying attention to that. This is completely on me. Fucking dumb, dude. It's completely my fault, man. That I'm losing, like, what, 50 seconds here? But I mean, P PB is still very strong. Though, so. Remember, nothing is decided until after chapter 4. Just keep telling yourself that, Leon. Just keep telling yourself that. Even though this is already shaped up to be a disastrous uh, chapter 3 so far. Considering all time losses. And we're you. The 
literally lost, already lost like half the time save from your chapter 2. Yeah, but Gogo Farm, I think my problem is I try to rush it a little bit too much. And that causes me to uh, get a bad angle. I'm very bad at angles in that fight. Or not in that fight, but with the farm. Of course I would get a break here. I got that potion, I think. This kind of sucks that I only got uh, two potions, though. It's very unlucky for... Uh, Cross that tier one not to drop two, uh, two potions. Well, if this one dies, um, I kind of partly want to want this one to die, uh, so I can play more East East Nine uh, Monster Knox. So I would not be mad if this dies. Really, I think I'm just going to start doing a, an attempt a day. Uh, get up to Blade Pools, see if anything's happening there, and then just call it from there. But yeah, I guess it's, uh, I guess the time loss from Arachno is good, because now I don't have any real attachment to this run anymore. This run is garbage. Just complete garbage. So now I can, uh, Easily relax and just, uh, chill, I guess. I'm gonna lay back here. Soon getting into a fight with. Oh, are you talking about um, um the the Entias the the group Entia fight after the Kromar slide quest? You're gonna have fun with that. Having to constantly deal one damage all the time—that's gonna be fun. That's actually gonna be hilarious. To, like see how long it takes nope take my potion I don't care anymore Of course he sword bash into my... Did you not drop a potion with that? This damage should be good I think. I don't... I don't... No this won't kill I don't think. Oh, it did! Okay. And I was like, I don't think it'll kill, but... Hey, Variation, how's it going? What is up, fam? Um, how's the RNG gods today? Well... They they they've been good for the most part. Um, I lost fifty seconds, about fifty ish seconds on Arachno, but that was that was completely my own fault. So I can't be mad at RNG there.
And right now I've currently been just detached from the run, where it's like, uh, if this run dies, it dies. Um, and then I can play East 9. Can have fun with that. Or I'll play, uh... I've been meaning to, uh... I just finished Yakuza Like a Dragon the other day. And I kind of want to learn the spear run for that, just because of how much I enjoyed the story and the gameplay. But then it's like, I also kind of want to finish the other Yakuza's. Before speedrunning a Yakuza game. Uh, Yakuza 7, I think they call it. The, like a dragon one, the JRPG one. Uh, clip through. Good job. Can swap to cross that. Yeah, I, they were all on sale, like, j all January, so I just decided to get them all. Um, yeah, I have zero, zero through seven, and then, um, Judgment. I think I want to do Judgment next after Yakuza Like a Dragon. Because Judgment has an English dub, and I prefer uh, my games to be dubbed, rather than having to read subs. And also, I know it's like a murder mystery or whatnot, so that'll be interesting. I'm uh, expecting it to have a great story, since it's on the on the back cover of it. It's definitely uh, advocating that. How how did the run the other day go? How did it go? Uh, I can't remember, honestly, man. I, I can only assume it died to, uh... Yeah, I, I couldn't tell you when it died. I don't remember. I really don't remember. If it died during chapter 1 through 3, um, that's probably most likely the case. The one you kept dying in shit RNG. That describes a lot of my, my reset runs. So I, I genuinely don't, can't remember, can't recall. <laughs> uh, the last part heavily relies on RNG. Oh, the speedrun? Um, I have no idea, but I could definitely see that, though. Given some of the bosses late game. Or no, I'm not gonna... Cause I, I don't think you played it, so I'm not gonna say anything. Even though I kind of already have, but... For, forget it, forget I said the last part, though. <laughs> I don't know how I feel that cutscene skip there, but okay. Okay, game. Uh, that is correct. She gets, uh, 60%, well, 70% now. Increase into damage every time she collects a potion. So it is pretty good.
I could see Yakuza games being a lot of fun to run. I just don't know if I would want to run any since I haven't really played the series thoroughly yet. I've only played the, Like a Dragon, which is a JRPG. And that's like not a beat em up. So I can't really say. Oh, that surprised me there, actually. I typically get lag on this uh, skip travel menu here. Okay, um... I did get a JCF on... Arachno, Zeke... I got... I think I got a good overkill on Ankos. Uh, just didn't have three potions from the fusion for the fusion combo with that one. And I got a JCF on Driver just now, so I think that reasonably sets me up for good experience. Only JCF I didn't get was on our Doom, which I'm not sure how much X EXP our Doom awards, so I'm pretty sure it's not as significant. As the others? Is there a way to clear main uh, quest straight and fast, or is there something blocking you from from going full forward? Like, uh, what do you mean? Like, I don't know what exactly you're talking about that question. Or, like, what specifically? I don't know why Malos just decided to go all the way over there, but okay. <laughs> that was a bad potion spawn. You don't want a potion to spawn on you uh, at the beginning, or you don't want to collect potions here at the beginning because that's going to leave Makos staggering you because you're doing more damage to him. So we're going to hope that Malos just de me somehow. Or this fight might just be effed. Alright, we're good. Oh yeah, Greg, for sure. Oh, and how's it going, Greg? How are you? Makos, I would say Makos 1 is definitely not that bad. Makos 2 can be a pain. As in, in terms of RNG. Like, if I don't get a break here at a certain point, I'm just screwed to lose 40 seconds. Okay, we should be good. Rex, 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 please get your nuclear blast up, please, please. Rex, Rex, Rex. Good. No, Tor, don't hobble. Don't talk. Why? Tor, why? Why would you topple, Tora? Okay, we'll, we'll take that, though, I guess. So that overall wasn't a bad chapter, considering I lost 50 seconds to uh, Arachno, because I was being dumb. 
Still two minutes ahead. That is nice. Remember, my pace isn't determined not until uh until until chapter four until chapter four is done. Um, is my pace decided? Because two minutes really doesn't mean anything. Because I still have to deal with blade pools here at the beginning. And I need two earth, two fire. Uh, and Boris. I'd like to get prune if I can, because I did pull Finch. And that's a leaping blade. Please pull Warius, for the love of God. It's Fireblade, that's good. A zombie. Okay, now I know for sure I'm in group two. Um, I think it'll just... I think it'll be, if you say no, he'll just ask the question again. Percival. I still got a water blade. I can't, I don't know what type it was though, because I wasn't paying attention. But I saw water. There's Nim. Alright, give me Boreas, please. Please, game, give me Boreas. Earth play, two Earths. It's fine. Second fire. No, just give me Boreas. I have everything I need to complete a run. But I would just like Boreas. Because <laughs> I do not want to... Talk to 40 off on. This game is being really mean right now. Okay, I got Perun. Now give me Boreas. He has a rather fair chance of being pulled in this group, so I don't know why I just just can't pull him. There we go, okay. So, I lost about a minute to blade pulls there. Uh, just to pull Boris, but that is completely A-OK -okay with me. I do not care. It's better than, in my opinion, it's just better than, uh... It's better for me to do that than just losing, um... Having to talk to 40 now upon for like two minutes and a half. Which, I mean, it's also kind of fair because, like, or do, not fair, but it doesn't really matter because my PB also lost a minute to Blade Pools, so I'm not even, I can't even be that upset about it. But, uh, we do have a run going at the moment. It's just from here on out, um, we will see how things play out from here on. We're here. So, shall we? I'm also surprised I got Boris, uh, or not Boris, but Perun and Finch. I hardly ever have a run anymore that has Perun, Finch, and Boris in it. So while these are the God Blade pools, um, I lost a minute in the process of it. So having Perun and Finch doesn't mean nothing, because you say you save a minute with Perun and Finch. So I guess that's kind of the uh, gimme, gimme. the upset with. Spending so long to get a uh, Boreas, I guess, is that I just, in a sense, lose all the time. I would say from Prune. I don't know. It's weird. Uh, yes, the backup for not getting Nop on Wisdom, in DLC, is to Love Source Poppy again, uh, so that she has Rank Four Affinity, and then talk to Forty Nop on. 
It is very, very, uh, whoop. Very boring. It takes like, I think, two to three minutes. I think 2.5 minutes. Shall we? Alright, so can I do this? Can I get to birds in four minutes? I think I can. Uh, yeah, that is what no DLC does. Because, uh. It's an adventurous life they don't have love sources in no DLC. So, um. They have to farm. They have to kill the mayor to get Cassandra for Nop on Wisdom instead. Like, a lot of runs I actually just end up doing that. Since, uh, you don't get to pull as much in no DLC, so you kind of have to do that anyways. To get a run where you got Boreas and Perun in no DLC, would have, you would have to be very, very, uh, lucky. Like, extremely lucky. Which, funny, funnily enough, I did a no DLC run. Like, I think my first no DLC run, I got Boreas and Perun. <laughs> Which... Which is sad, because if I was a better player, or the better player I am now at that category, that'd be, like, such a blessing. I'm, I'm definitely, I think I definitely want to return to that category, though. And we're you. The adventure continues. The adventure continues. Uh, yeah, for sure. Uh, the no DLC category is just a... Okay, the best way to explain this is, uh... The DLC basically makes us a much more consistent category. By a large mile. Um, since we have, you know, overpowered blades and co all the core crystals we can to pull. Blades for field skills and whatnot. Um, the no DLC category, there's a lot more problems and issues. And it's like you you can't you don't have all that stuff so you have to find ways to work around that. Um, and that's something you can actually appreciate it. I think uh, when you run no DLC you gain an appreciation of it. Of uh, just having to solve everything. Um, like uh, let's say you didn't pull. Uh, or no, I don't know how to explain this. I'm bad at giving examples. Um. It is a lot more RNG reliant. Like you do have to pray to God that you don't get absolutely um, obliterated. Um, but I think the satisfaction from having a run going and being able to uh, conquer all the just just honestly conquer all the bad RNG is just it's a very good feeling completing a no DLC run. I would say that. So while it is a pain to run, I, I can definitely respect it and appreciate people who have run it in the past. I don't know if what I just said made sense, but uh... <laughs> I'm bad with words. Okay, it looks like uh... I, sh I'm, I should be tying PB or being a little bit ahead of this fight. Because this bird's fight is like 20 seconds long. Oh, really? Are you even doing anything? Can you like, are you like just able to lay your controller down and like not do anything or is it still kind of tense? Okay, I'm a little bit ahead. I have I didn't lose any time at all. I'm actually gaining like five seconds off this, so that's that's fine. We're okay. Stomach running DLC for quite a while. What do you mean DLC? DLC is the good category. It's the it's the category every everybody has to run or wants to run, you know. 
Okay, no DLC. That's what you mean. Yeah. Um, honestly, if you're going to start running this game, um, I would start with no DLC. Then moot transition to DLC. Because you, if you start running to DLC, then want to learn no DLC, you're going to have a rough, very rough transition to it. Like, a lot of things are going to be different, and you're going to most likely end up getting frustrated and complaining about having to actually uh, be smart and get good, which is what no DLC is. I'm speaking from personal experience here. That was me. I was a DLC runner, then I was like, oh, hey, I'm going to try no DLC, and I just get the absolute floor mopped with me when um, I don't have cross set with me, and I have to actually rely on Pyra being good, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That missed break feels bad. Bro, just die. <sighs> Losing three seconds there is okay. <laughs> That's fine. So whatever. <laughs> now the Lila split, I could potentially lose a lot of time though, because um, Lila is probably. Definitely, I would say top three most volatile fights in the the speed run for sure. Oh yeah, that's fair as well. I can totally understand ha finding it hard to uh, run longer categories, even if it's like only like thirty minutes longer technically. But for you, it may be, for a beginner, it may be like five, six, or five, six, or seven hours. Two out of five done. So, like, two left or three left? I'm not computing the fraction you just put, Cardus. Mm hmm. What? I'm trying to remember, recall what Fireblade I put on Rex. I hope I didn't pull both uh, Fire Healers on Rex, that'd be kind of bad. Thank you, Swift. I appreciate it. This is gonna be a run. This is actually a good run that got past uh, Blade Pulls, which is a uh, which is uh, the um, Pokemon reset at one hour and twenty minutes in. So I'm feeling very confident about maybe a PB slash world record after this chapter. If after this chapter I'm on a decent pace, uh, good pace, I feel marginally confident about a. Uh, PB slash world record. But I don't know, there's still a lot of just dumb RNG that could screw me over with this kind of game. Like, even coming up, there's a really hard boss I'm gonna fight here in a minute. So I'm gonna buy these books here. Uh, the only ones we care about is the love beyond clouds i just buy the other books here just to uh increase my merc development level for uh more ardain so uh i can accept the lunch of love merc mission sooner wow. that's the only reason i buy those other books at that store
Alright, and also, uh, something that's kind of part of the speedrun strat now is to intentionally uh, not in here. In previous routes, we would in here and use our uh, bonus experience to get to like level 26, 27. Just because of how like how hard of a boss, uh, or how uh, much of a truck this boss hits like. Uh, but we don't do any, any of that anymore because you're going to get more experience awarded to you fighting bosses at lower level. So we have to do this to set the EXP route. Or to set up a good EXP route. Words are hard. Oh, and this is another application of Zombie Hover here, where uh, when I skip these cutscenes, I'm holding the death combo. And that is then allowing me to enter Zombie Hover state, to where I can just skip past the steam. If I was not in zombie hover state, and I was just in like my regular state, uh, that steam would instantly kill me. Run can possibly die here <laughs> to the Slyla fight. It just kind of has to go a very certain way with uh, who she aggro's at the start here, and how and for how long. Because if she kills Rex straight up, you're likely not winning the fight. Unless we sketch very hard. I only got one potion from that, that's pretty unlucky. I think that got blocked, which is very nice. I don't think I have enough potions, but we're gonna ha we're gonna do this anyways to survive. Uh, cross that's buff last the entire fight as long as you don't die or anything. All right, that's close enough. We're gonna run away. Please kill, please kill. She should be ether bearing sometime soon. Good. That is nice. I didn't kill her as quickly as I ideally want to, but the fact that I'm able to get past that fight without any major time loss, like dying or anything, is very good. It's more than enough. More than something to be happy about. Yeah, cross it. Uh, as long as you don't swap off her or die, uh, cross it's buff will last the entire fight. So yeah, that's why she is ridiculously broken. Because uh, every time you collect a potion, her damage increases by 80% now. And it sacks up to 500%. So I'm going to play this fight very safe here by uh, taking out some of these guards. Alright, 
I'm actually going to swap back to a uh, you here and heal. I ideally want to break here, please. I have to. I have to do this. If I didn't do that, she would, she would like to kill me. So that's unfortunate. The reason I want a fusion combo here is because I'm gonna chain attack her right now, and that would uh, help me get a overkill on on her. I ideally want 400% overkill on her. GV, how are you? I did it. I uh, added the uh, Murgurger emote of a uh, Adelia from Bravely Default. <laughs> Murder girl. Uh. You got it. I'm. Uh, I will be satisfied with this. I'll be fine. Yeah, I am very excited for Bravely Default 2 coming out this month, and also kind of worried a lot about it. Because I, I, I think I might not like it. If it's like uh, completely unrelated to Bravely Default and Bravely Second. Like Nintendo's advertising it is. Because that just sucks a lot if that's the case. Because Bravely Second leaves all, off on like a massive sequel bait at the end. Like I'm talking like something about this... Something about this planet level of sequel bait. bait. <laughs> well, not not something about this planet kind of sequel bait. Not that kind of level, but pretty good sequel bait, I would say. Uh oh yeah, wait, Shem, you I I think I've seen you run Octopath Traveler, right? Yeah, if you like Octopath Traveler, there it's basically the same game. Honestly, I just I personally I've. I personally think Bravely De Default is better because the story and character interaction is just top tier. Uh, that's something that Octopath Traveler lacks a lot, in my personal opinion, and that's kind of what has made me not want to play it a lot. Like I've only the only the furthest I got in Octopath Traveler, I bought it on sale like a month ago, one or two months ago, and only completed Primrose's uh, first chapter, and that was it. And then I was like, uh, I don't, I don't know about this. Yeah, definitely play it. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, the the gameplay, it's your typical Octopath Traveler system where you uh, default and then uh, accumulate uh, defense points. Or not defense points, uh, BP to then um, use multiple actions in one turn. Same thing like Octopath. But what I really enjoy about it is uh, the fact that um, the story the story breaks the fourth wall in like such a cool and creative way, and that's what really draws me to the game is the story. So the reason I'm terrified of or not terrified. So the reason I am kind of skeptical about Bravely Default 2 is it may not do that same kind of stick where it directly ties the player into its narrative that's what i truly truly enjoy about really default games or those two games is they they directly involve you into the narrative oh no i have not honestly i am sorry gv i have not taken a look into it Oh yeah, I totally understand. Um, we all have massive backlogs, I'm sure. Like sometimes I just, 
I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I'll just buy games, just to buy games, and like, never play them. <laughs> play them for an hour and be like, oh, well, this game was cool. Then just put it on my shelf and never touch it again. <laughs> I really need to stop that. That's a bad habit. That's a very bad habit of mine that I waste a lot of money doing. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's such a funny thought, too. Just got off work, it's so cold. Oh, where do you live? Do you live in like it? You live... I think your time zone is ahead of me, so I know you live somewhere... East of me. Hey, look what I found! Congratulations, guys! And where you? Oh yeah, that sometimes happens to me too. Or I'll just find it hard. I won't find the motivation to finish a game I've started playing. Mainly because I've I've got caught up in playing other games or speedrunning. Mainly speedrunning. That's why I kind of just want to... It's been a New Year's resolution of mine to just not speedrun games at all. Or try to take a very big break from speedrunning and just be casual, but it's... I have this thing. Um, a lot of men tend to have this thing. It's called Pride. And I want to leave my mark on this game. I just want to go berserk on this game and then be like, okay, I'm done speedrunning. I'm fairly confident none of my records can be beaten, so I'll be, I'll be done. I'll finally be a casual now. Uh, yes, Bravely Default and Bravely Second are uh, only on the 3DS. Which I think they definitely should have uh, ported over to Switch. I think that would be very smart of them to do. Um, considering Square Enix has already seen the success of Octopath Traveler. So I don't think it should be hard for them to uh, port it over. And actually, I need to take off Warius. Uh, Corvin, where are you at? Okay, where are we out to? Ooh, the Netherlands. I've never seen like pictures of what the actual Netherlands look like, but I hear it's a pretty uh cool place to live at. Ah ha! Ah ha! Look at me, I'm funny with puns. I'm sorry, that was a very bad joke. <laughs> yep, there's a lot of similarities between a Bravely Default and uh, Octopath Traveler. There's also a lot of fan art uh, with the characters interacting with each other from both games. That's kind of cool to see like a crossover of both games. No break feels good. Please don't hit me, please don't hit me. Is this gonna kill? Did I get enough potions for this to reasonably kill? I think he Oh, I don't I don't like this damage. How did this, a Zeke fight like this happen? Why are you- uh, why are you on the rock? What the hell? <laughs> I have never seen a Zeke fight so, like, odd as that. That was... That was comedy. <laughs> Got Rune Factory 4, that's a good game. I'm excited for when, uh... Rune Factory 5 should be coming out sometime this year. 
I'm excited to start farming again, making waifus, you know, all that jazz. I I know why he went up there, it's cause uh, cross that's tier 4 uh, has a lot of blowdown on it. And we'll typically blow down consecutively, like on three or four hits. And that getting blown down mid-air will just cause her to launch enemies very high in the air. So that's like the reason why that happened. Congratulations, guys. Oh hey Polecats, how are you? Oh and what's up? What's up, K Leader? How how's it going? You're playing Rune Factory 4, that's great. Polecats, I'm going to show you how to actually speedrun a, a good game. You're not good? Oh no. Or, I don't know. I'm confused. You're stuck at work? Dang. Hey, look what I You've been lurking most of the time, that's alright. I don't mind at all. I don't know why he doesn't why he hates Sexy T so much. Uh oh. Uh, please don't. This fight might troll me hard. Who do I want to take on? I want to take on you. I think this is a really bad fight. Really bad Turkins fight, at least. I don't know why Polkats hates it so much. I'm getting very good potion RNG here. That's nice. Please don't rocket kick me. Break. Nice. Very good. Alright, we won this fight. This fight was easy. Goodbye. Sayonara. Oh yes, that Dougal. I still vividly remember that Dougal. That Dougal was... Just the most absurd dude I've ever had, but I'm gonna be quiet uh, so I can concentrate on this here. Okay, let's make a start. When did it get so late? Do we really need to stop and rest when we're having so much fun? That's okay. That was an okay clip. Oh, 
the shower! Please block. Down. Okay. On a good pace. Um, you can chain if you want to get art chain before Petroka and Mikhail. But no, it's not really needed. You just have a much more riskier uh, experience route. Or a tighter experience route. I don't like where that potion is. I'm not gonna go for that because Rosa might uh bam bam rocket soon. Alright, I have to go for this. I may lose time here. Um, if this doesn't kill. Which I don't think it will. Not even close. Okay, I'll take that. I will accept that. Um, I'm probably not going to have Arts Chain um, coming up here before Petroka and Mikhail, but I can still check. Because it is very important that I get over 400% on Morik, but I couldn't because I didn't have a fusion combo. You need a fusion combo on Morag to get that. Uh, yeah, no way. I might not even have Arts Chain before um, Zeke. Uh, where's the Water Blade? I have a good luck here because I could easily get very much uh, destroyed on this uh, Petroka Mikhail phase 2 here. Like, I could very easily get destroyed here if I'm not careful. Or if I don't get break. Especially since I'm level 1, level 31, which is very, very bad. It is very low, very low level to be fighting this. I'm just gonna tier four here. 
I hope this kills. It should. It should be fine. Okay. That was a that was a pretty okay fight. I am completely fine with that. Cause that fight could have uh, very easily went very wrong. And uh, I'm on a okay pace coming out of chapter four. Ideally, I could be two minutes faster coming out of here, but a minute of time loss is just due to blade pulls. Because of the gotcha system being bad in this game, and uh, another minute is. I can't really put where another minute is from. Oh, and the other minute is from Chapter 3 shenanigan shenanigans and stuff. Why I'm not ahead as I should be. But uh, now we can just chill out for a little bit here. Uh, chapter 5 is, has a lot of downtime. A lot of walkings. Um, so it's a chapter where you can just ease your mind out of getting out of chapter 4 hell, finally. Because chapter 3 and 4 uh, typically will end your run very easily uh, when going for PB slash world record. And I guess on the subject of that, uh, I'm kind of feeling confident on a PB and potentially world record. But uh, the issue is... Uh, I'm going to be doing a very, very risky route here where um, I will not be getting the Shining Star Chips, which are chips we get in this chapter, uh, that are going to basically increase our damage to do three times what we do. It's going to increase our auto attack uh, stat by three times, like up in the 600s and 900s. So you technically don't need them for the DLC category just because of Cross Set having the 500% damage multiplier, uh, just because of how strong that is. And uh, Corvin, uh, just being an all-around very strong blade, basically being Kirito, uh, you technically don't need them. But uh, you would have to have very good RNG, like fight RNG, to compensate for that, to break even with uh, fights with SS chips. And uh, that is uh, that is the route I am playing with here. The risk I'm playing with. The world record does get uh, SS chips. Both of them do. Um, so I, from after this chapter, from here on out, I'm going to have to compete with them doing that. And th like this is the only th I think this is the only way I could really get world record is by uh, doing something like this. This is uh, my uh, a my not to make a bravely everyone. second reference, but this Good is morning. my Rise my coup de gravy. My um. My rat's gambit. Wow. World has many amazing my ace up my sleeve out of snipe world we record. Good place. And before Run just completely dies this chapter. By getting unlucky. Uh, is there alternate chips to get later? Um, so if you don't get shiny star chips, you're going to uh, wait till Tantau and get Lodronite chips. Because they, uh, they're they going to increase your auto attack stat and they also increase crit rate. Uh, even with SS chips, we naturally just get Mithra, a uh, Lodronite chip. Since uh, chapter 8 through 10 um, is basically pop Numa to win. And to activate Numa, you need Party Gauge. And easiest way to uh, get Party Gauge is to critical hit somebody or to get a crit. So there's the logic behind that. <laughs> but overall, with the uh, shining, no shining star chips throughout. Uh, it's really uh, it's really just chapters, at end of chapter five through halfway of chapter seven where, or end of chapter seven that uh, I could potentially lose the most time. Chapter eight through ten are more or less the same with uh, SS or no SS chips, to be honest. Um, Corvin has a, has a unique skill on him, 
that uh, whenever you deliver a critical hit, it'll uh, increase the party gauge. Or fill the party gauge by uh, certain points. Outside of the crit itself, uh, filling up party gauge. So he's really good for filling up party gauge. That's kind of why we want to get him. Outside of him also being just a really strong all-around tank, tanky character. Like, his, his specials have some of the highest damage ratios in the game, as well. Now, we are... Nearing the end of this like long walk here, my only concern, kind of, is whether or not I'm gonna have Arts chain before Zeke, because that can make Zeke a very, a very, very difficult fight here. I also have to think about what blades I have to overdrive. To who? I want to overdrive all my fire blades to. Uh, I'm gonna overdrive one fire blade to Nia. Yes, that's exactly right, Polkans. Yes. Also, how are you still watching me at work? <laughs> Uh, why do we overdrive the blades so that uh, uh we can have all the field skill checks? And arrived. Uh, basically, we're gonna overdrive all our earth blades to Zeke, and have him equip the earth blades because Zeke never gets used in the actual game or in the actual run. Like we never use him for fights, so he's kind of like a HM slave, in a sense where he'll be holding our earth masteries for later field skill checks. And I also want to overdrive certain other blades uh, to other characters. Like, I have Adenine, for instance, but it's overdrive to Rex. And Adenine can be a, a very helpful blade uh, for late game fights. So basically, for Chapter 7, what I want to do is I want to uh, have Adenine and a Fire Blade on Cross Set, and then uh, a Fire Blade and two Wind Blades on... Rex. So that'll help me uh, destroy a web in uh, the, one of the Chapter 7 dungeons. <laughs> no. Unfortunately not. We don't get Elma. Alright. Do I have Arts Chain? I do. Okay. That's good. That takes care of that. Now we can put in Narcy's Pear Jelly. I have a real sweet tooth. I have a real sweet tooth. Cross that is very adorable. I mean, if we did get Elma, I'm sure like Xenoblade Chronicles X runners would very much appreciate that, you know? Can't say I know too many myself. Outside of like Licker and Grin, you know? I think he's the only runner, you know, that runs X currently, or has. <laughs> okay, I'm kidding. I see you raggy with the X attempts. Please 
Please don't anger me. Please break. No, we should be good. We should be good. On damage, I think. Okay, good. And now, more walking. Very fun, I know. <laughs> that is crazy. He is the only Xenoblade runner. I'm derived. It's an adventurous life for me. You no, know, Polecats, you don't have to run XC2 if you don't want to. Nobody's forcing you, you know. I think you're, I think you're just being very, uh, very, uh, what's the Japanese word, uh, sundere towards XC2. Deep down, you know it's the, the best game in the series. For sure. Come on, you can't fool me. Can't fool me, uwu. <laughs> Please, good gameplay. Hey! I'll try my best. Although I am progressively starting to lose time this chapter. But it's gonna be fine. I'm gonna save like two minutes just skipping uh, SS chips here. Easy. <laughs> like look at my best segment for this split. No, it's actually three minutes. Actually, excuse me. And then from there, I'll have every fight go exactly as I want to, exactly as I planned. XC2 because I love my chat. Okay, pole cats. Whatever you say.
Alright, we're almost done with the walking section here. Part one of Indol. Indol walking. Put more egg in the party. Oh yeah, chapter five and chapter six are definitely uh, the worst chapters in this Where game. Do we go from here? Forgot everything before chapter seven. Um, that's fair, I guess. I can see that. All right. Uh, by elements, fire. Oh no no no! Stop being bad. Use overdrive. Nia. Add me. Nia. Earth. Use overdrive. Been sharpening my fangs hey. for this day to come. Oh, that was a pointless menu there, actually. Show me what you got. This is, a, this is a very bad menu here. I, I don't like this. This is the culmination of. Y I'm all over the place with this menu here. As it should be. That's the wrong skill. As it should. Can be. I still get this? I can't. Nice one. Uh, where's that fire axe at? That was a. That was not a great menu at all. I hope things went well. That's because I'm not generally used to doing that menu because I normally get the SS chips. But since we're skipping it, I have to remember what I do exactly there. Alright, thank you for stopping by, Shim. I hope you get some great sleep. Hopefully I'll have a world record when you uh, wake up, or uh, at least a good PB. More so world record than anything. But, uh, it's gonna be tough. Because, uh, from here on out, it's, it's gonna... Fights are gonna get very RNG. Heavy and very stressful. And arrived. It's an adventurous life for me. Almost. <sighs> okay. How's my PB-128 for these cables? What? Excuse me? Just keep 
Almost kill. We're gonna chain attack. I'm gonna chain attack here, and what's that? That's gonna mean is I'm gonna really need the break on uh, Esmercore here, or the run is legitimately dead. Like, straight up. If I don't get the break on this next fight here. Alright, I'm not feeling so good about this anymore. This may have been, may have been a very big mistake. That's not the brick I need. I don't even know if that's a kill. That's the scary thing. I'm gonna lose a lot of time, I can already tell. So I already lost a minute coming from um, cables though, which I was 6 minutes and 30 seconds ahead. I should easily be gaining some, some of that time back since I chained uh, Rosa. Because that means I don't have to chain Rosa then. And I could possibly, probably get back up to 6 minutes ahead. That's if I don't lose time on Cooks though. It's gonna be it's gonna be rough. It's gonna be rough to keep this pace up. Actually I need to do this. I feel like well, even even though I didn't get SS chips, PB should be I should reasonably stand to PB from this. It's just the thing about world record is not going to be guaranteed, or not as easy. You're in chapter 6? Me too! 
We're both in chapter 6. I guess I can also save time from not having to throw monsters, or not not throw monsters, throw rocks at monsters as well. Progressively in this chapter, I'll save some time from that. I am level 37, that is, uh, kinda yikes. Thank you for the good RNG variation. I do appreciate it. And we're you. The adventure continues. Couldn't be on this pace without you, fam. I'm getting very anxious right now. I don't know if it can be seen in my face, but there is like a lot to lose here. <laughs> like, the rat's gambit is not something to take so lightly here. The rat's gambit has a lot of weight on it, a lot of stressful weight on it. <laughs> Uh, it takes about two minutes to go get the SS chips, and then like a minute to do the whole menu thing. Uh, so I save, I save like three minutes from not having to get them. But the thing is, I could progressively start losing time to fights from here on out until about uh end of chapter seven. But theoretically, uh. With with the right RNG, uh, the fights could more or less play out the same. In theory, I think. Me neither. And where you? Nobody running X E two actually enjoys this area. We just do it because we have to.
40 minutes of questing in Torna? Oh, is that the Gormont section? I think Gor- I- I remember I tried to learn the Torna sphere in like, uh... A, a while ago, like, maybe a year ago. And it was a lot of walking Gormont I was doing. Okay, here's we uh. Good place. We're gonna see how much time I lose to this fight here. This will be interesting. Okay, I broke even. I'm gonna break even with PD, but my best is like 20 seconds for me. But I should be getting time here though. So that'll be a, a, a okay. Because I don't have to chain here, or shouldn't have to. I'm counting on you. Okay, back up to six minutes ahead. Yay. I wouldn't say it's free. I would not say it's free at all. I'm on a pace that could potentially get it, but... I still have a bunch of risk I'm doing. Time for some treasure hunting. Whoa! Oh, you're talking about a completely different. You're talking about Torna and G Plus. I thought you're talking about this game. That you're talking. I uh, thought you're talking about a good game. My bad. This is a rather slow menu, but uh, it's okay. I feel like
Also, another thing here is I can get screwed by load times. Um, for whatever reason, whenever you load into Tantal, your loads could get very much slow by possibly memory leak. I don't really know the answer. But that is something that can happen. You can just get RNG screwed here. By, by loads. Um... I guess, by default. Since there's nothing really interesting with XE2 and G+. That's like a glitch or anything happening outside a zombie hover. But I mean... Because the Torna run really is just... Do zombie jumps at the beginning and then... The rest of the run is just... Eh. Whatever, just talking to- Really, I would say, I'd actually argue Torna NG Plus is more boring. Because after after the jump jumps you do at the beginning, then it's just... Talking to NBCs for a good hour or so. Oh yeah, Ragu, don't. I, I want the world record back again. Please and thank you. I just need to get good at zombie jumps again. Cause I was actually comparing your guys' runs, uh, the uh, the Japanese guys run in your runs, and you you do zombie jump a lot faster than he does. I don't know what he does differently to save all the time back, or is it because he does Camless that that's he got world record over you? Cause you you finished your jumps at like six minutes, well he took like four extra minutes and finished at ten. Oh, that was literally it? He just had a better mouse? <laughs> oh no. Feels bad. Hey! Look what I found! Congratulations, guys! He found a way to finish the fight without uh, Monado armor triggering. An NG plus. That's actually interesting because I was actually playing around with that fight when I was doing NG plus runs to see if you could theoretically just kill him or do something to prevent him from Monado armoring. Gosh, don't you just don't you just love runs that that uh literally are make or break at the final boss? Gotta gotta love it, man. Wouldn't it be Xenoblade a Xenoblade speed run without that, you know? <laughs> or maybe I should probably just say in general a JRPG speed run. I'm gonna get another a new chip for Corvin later on in chapter three. Oh. Oh, so you just continuously driver combo him. Okay. See what I was doing, I was just thinking, what if I break him at a certain point, tier four with like Laura or something, and then I'll like Push him past the HP threshold or something. That's what my thought of practice was. But I could see Underline. if you just driver combo lock him. Yeah, that would for sure stop him from one out of armoring.
Great to be quarters off guard. All right, so no clips for me. I'm not going to risk any clips. Also, another reason why it's kind of worked to get the SS chips is because there's a landmark on the way to getting those SS chips that has a 1,000k bonus experience. And since I skipped that, that's going to make me especially tight on my uh, experience. Like, even really, actually, I should be... Ideally, I'm level 40 right now, but I'm not. I don't, isn't Siren's animation too long to where you, it would just be better to uh, driver combo lock him? I'm going to assume I just lose time here just straight up from, um, just having to buy the longer night ships. That's what I'm going to assume I lose time here from. But damn, that is 25 seconds. That is yikes. Where do we go from here? We were careless before. Next time, don't get distracted. And I guess I can also just blame load times for, uh... I can blame load times for, uh, losing time. scared uh trio is also uh one of the most volatile fights in the game is in the run as well um and it's a very frustrating fight if it goes wrong because this is literally like two-thirds of the way into the run to where you can just die the run can just die two-thirds of the way in so let's hope hope we get a good trio Cause the problem is my PB also had a very fantastic trio, so and that was with SS chips, so uh, it's gonna be really hard to compete against that.
And arrived. <laughs> What we always do. Stop it! Stop it! Right. 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 Now! Oh. Yeah, sure. For sure. Endless ha. night. Ha. 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 I don't know how that didn't hit me. Give me the break, please. How, how did I get toppled? I'm gonna lose a lot of time here. Almost losing a minute here. That is crazy. It's probably because no SS well, No, not SS fist, but I didn't get AoE. But that's fine. I'm still... If I'm still being five minutes ahead, I will gladly take that, though. Look at me! Behold my will! Getting two potions right there was incredibly lucky here. So I should be fine for this. I don't know how this is a minute in PB. Please, Bridge, kill, 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 kill. Very well. I'm in danger. Chain attack, finish. Let this be a lesson. Fuck, run might be dead. Run's dead. What the fuck? I don't know how I didn't kill him there. That's such bullshit. Like, that is such bull bullshit I didn't kill him on the chain attack. Like, what the fuck? It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's such fucking bullshit, though. Like, I truly don't understand how the fuck I, I didn't... Just fucking die already! Holy shit! So fucking dumb, dude. So fucking dumb. I get two potions at the start of that gin and chain attack him. I don't know why that didn't wasn't enough to push him to his HP threshold. That is... He was probably like a, a slither or a pixel of health away from actually hitting it. The problem was, he, I 
there's no way to counter when he stun swallows. There's no way to react, be able to react to that, to know not to hit him there. So the fact of me getting stun swallowed, then he followed up with heavenly disrupt. I was, I was actually powerless to do anything there. I could not have prevented that. Or I could not have even gotten another chance to hit him and potentially end the fight there. That is... You just leave it to me. I'll use my Ready brains to, to put this team to good use. Finally, it's my turn. Hey, you're the boss. Rock, pleased to meet you. That was a slog. When did it get so late? Take care. Enemies are around at night. A new locale. I've gained a new memory. Yeah, that's kind of the mentality I just have to have right now that uh, I'm still on very much on PB pace. Um, I'm just probably not not going to turn webcam back on or talk a lot just to get my minds off things because uh, that what just happened there at the end of chapter six was just 
very, very tilting, so I'm just going to concentrate to get my mind off that and focus on everything right now. And probably not talk a lot. Gained a new memory. Show me what you got. Oh. Hey, look what I found. I've never been here before, but I imagine we'll be back again soon enough. I've never been here before, but I imagine we'll be back again soon enough. Let me help you! Call on me anytime! 
Don't let me get rusty. Okay, where are we off to? A new locale. I've gained a new memory. Hmm. Yes, I see. I'm stronger than this, you know. Much, much stronger. See, Gramps? I'm getting better. Experience begets wisdom. I slept like a log. Ready to face the day.
That was a slog. The adventure continues! New locale. I have gained a new memory. Rock, pleased to meet you. Choice, good sir. Finally, it's my turn. Morning. Let's just try and make the best of it. It sounds fun. Nice one! Truly, all rest is a wonder to explore. This view is worthy of its own page in my journal. Come, winds! Lend me your transient fleeting aid! Strength. Call on me any time. Okay, where are we off to? I don't fancy being next on the list. And arrived. It's just 
do what we always do. I'm with you. Yes. Yes. Choice, good sir. Nature, lend me your strength. Arrived. It's an adventurous life for me. <gasps> yeah, Finch is only used for leaping in the run. And also Pog. Truva, thank you for the excellent gameplay streamer. This run was on world record pace, but then it some BS just happened in chapter 6 that made it not world record pace. Uh, you need to get... And yes, I'm doing very well. Awesome. You're not half bad. Don't get out of here. Use that power. I'm Total with you. No. Oh, 
focusing on target. Focusing on target. I Ultra slap. Now is the time to unleash Another the power of Cyclone! It's time to do what must be done. Let's end this. Play combo, third stage. Mithra Force. How can you stand in our way? Hey, 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 You can... Huh. Okay, well time done. to take Maybe you down. Done. I like your attitude. Fuck it! Yeah! What? Sword back! Ranger right. shot! She can do huh. it! Good! Rolling smash! Why not? Duh. My power power on losing losing Why not? Why not? I can feel the power from here. Yeah. Magnificent. Ah. 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 Ultra Rolling oh, smash. my bad. GB, don't look. It's a spoiler character. My bad. <laughs> Whoop. Whoops. Arrived. Oh, this is where we were going. Um, I have never played Code Vein, so I don't get the reference, I'm sorry. I know it's that anime uh, Dark Souls game that has a lot of customization. Such a bad place. Which looks really cool, but I'm just not a Dark Souls kind of guy. Oh, what are you two guys doing all the way over there? With the power of friendship. Uh-oh. This, this is probably going to overkill, and I won't get Gamma Ray AoE. Or not. I guess because of Fugan combo and all. Oh, that is the first time I ever got AoE on that fight. Very cool. Free gold, I guess.
and arrived. Oh. Come on, get up there. And arrived. Oh, this is where we were going. <sighs> All right. So after this, what level Nia is is gonna be concerning. Ideally, she's level fifty-one. Because if she's not, then I'm gonna have a hard time breaking this guy. And I need to break this guy because this is the final chain attack we do in the run to ensure we have enough experience to uh. Uh, fight the final ball. Okay, 51, we're good. Just keep waiting on a brick. We'll make it through this. Alright, I just need one more break, please. After this. Break again. So, calculating my current time right now, it's going to be 358.30-ish, 40, 40-ish, which is like a minute behind world record. So, I mean, I'll be okay with that, I'll be happy with that, knowing I've closed the gap a little bit, TV. Thank you for the excellent gameplay, streamer. Couldn't have done without you. Thank you for the excellent gameplay, streamer. Couldn't have done it without you. Thank you for the excellent gameplay, streamer. Couldn't have done it without you. 
Yes. If it wasn't for Jen, I probably could this probably could be world record for sure. Um, it's going all right, and probably this this should be sub four for sure. This should be a sub four run for sure. A new locale. I've gained a new memory. But it also might may not, because I might get screwed by load times. Because sometimes uh, during these final chapters, if you don't uh, reset your game, uh, memory leak can happen and slow down a lot of loads. Um, it's a chance to happen. So you just gotta hope you get lucky. It do be looking very high tech. And arrived. Oh, this is where we were going. Thank you, GD. Your service. Rock, pleased to meet you. It sounds fun. Okay, where are we? I will to? do my best to prove my worth.
Alright. Thank you, Yaksun, for stopping by. I do appreciate it. the wrong way. And arrived. Oh, this is where we were going. I'll Charge! take you all on. Perfect. Ha! Try to keep I've it up. I've been waiting to test my skill. No one can. Oh, I'm not going to get it. Right, 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 I'm not down yet. Rolling smash. Come and get it. Don't get me. Let me show you. Gotcha. On your head! Everyone's on your side! I'm not down yet! I'm not down yet! Let's give him the full treatment! Come and get it! Let me know what you need to say! On your head! Oh, that was a misclick on my part, but this should kill. Not like this! Getting better! You gotta be fucking kidding me. I got so trolled right there. <laughs> so dumb. <sighs> Four minutes ahead, that's cool. Oh, I know why that it is. Because in PB, in PB, I set up for a... Uh, uh, door clip uh, to do the door with the electrics in focus. So that's why I just saved all that time there.
Um, I'm gonna be completely honest. I've never watched Star Wars before. A new locale. It's an adventurous life for me. Alright, so we are coming up on Dwarf Clip, and uh, this is the hardest clip in the game. Uh, you can spend anywhere here from 10 seconds to over 5 minutes. Or even more. Why? This is a wildly inconsistent clip. And uh, I'm just so glad that it's here at the end of the run, you know? So, I kid you not, we are literally just jumping at this control panel, hoping we clip through the door. Hoping for the best. Okay, that was alright. I was like, what, 20 seconds? I'll take that. Uh, the intended way to get through that door is a field skill check that requires, uh, five focus and four electric mastery. So typically in the DLC run, if you wanted to avoid doing the door clip, um, you get level three focus on Pyra naturally by, uh, love sourcing her like three to four times to get her to level five affinity. 
and feed her four JRCTs, her favorite pouch item, uh, to get to level two focus, and then level three focus uh, is done by uh, getting excellence on specials. And that'll get you level three, and then you feed Wolf Rick two bucks, and that'll get him level one focus. That's how you get your focus. And the electric mastery, uh, well, Pandora already has electric mastery by default. So you would just need to pull three electric blades, which uh, is, is, I would say, rather common. You're more likely to get three electric blades than three earths or uh, three earths or two fires, in my opinion, in my experience, to be honest. Just given my luck. I'm surprised that Whisper Quarter just finally ran out. Oh yeah, we're set on levels. We are set. I'm still getting stronger. More eggs already 61. That's great. <laughs> yeah, Wolfric has good boyo. Uh, does does Nia count? She's probably my favorite. Oh well, I guess she's actually a story nice blade, one. so I don't know. Corvin just got max affinity after more I got hit with a uh, literally with a uh <laughs> Skyward Slash. But okay. doing go get him cross set do it oh I didn't topple you whoops okay that works too I didn't think that would kill but I I guess it does because you actually got a lot of potions so that makes sense now that I think about it
Divine Rose! Feel like guilty roading any day now. Uh... Okay, we're good. Okay, you can break there too, I guess. For some reason, I didn't think that was going to go in, but we're fine. Yes, the the pit he literally crawled out of, you can knock him back into, and he will just suddenly sleep on to his deck. <laughs> 420, um, holy shit, wait, we are exactly on tied world record pace, I think, what the fuck? If I'm doing the math right, am I doing the math right? What the fuck? No, I, I can't. There's no way I can... I'm gonna be able to do that. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> Alright, let's fucking go. I'm fucking amped up. Amp is actually a, um... What do you call it? A, uh... Where they put the dots uh, between the letters when it's capitalized. I forget what it's called. Acronym. Acronym. It's an acronym for any means possible. We're gonna get this tied world record. That's right. My mojo is back. I'm I'm ecstatic. Hold on. We're gonna. I'm actually very happy right now. Hey, I'm back. My my camera was broken. I was trying to fix it uh, this whole time. <laughs> Just don't choke. Don't choke. I technically have like 20 seconds to save here, I think. 20 to 40 seconds. Because the fastest chapter 10 that's been done is like a 1240. Let's go. We can do it. We can tie world record. We can do it. We can do it. <laughs> Stop. Oh, God. Don't play bad now. I'm getting too hyped. <laughs> oh. I'm excited. Now, I, as I said before, the final boss is completely completely down to break RNG. So if I do not get the break on this final boss, the run is just dead. Straight up. Keep that in mind. <laughs> Also, um, in Chapter 10, there's a tendency for loads to be very bad, especially after this ghost split, so that could also affect, uh, me losing some seconds here and there. I can do it. I believe. Thank you all. It, it's, it's, it's actually up to the chat whether or not this world record's right. It's you guys have to have you guys have to believe in the run. Believe. Pull all the good RNG. <laughs> believe. Oh, actually, hold up. I'm about to make a big mistake here if I don't do this. Uh, where's? I will do my best to prove my worth. Okay. If I did not equip Corvin there, that would have been a big mistake. I'm glad I just remembered to do that menu there. <laughs> Oh, you know what I've never done either? That's uh, actually very important. I never equipped this off-right chip. 
Yay, let's go. That's actually surprising I was able to kill Malos. Um, I got incredibly lucky on Malos then, considering I got the double stack break fusion combo on him. And I just forgot to equip this chip on him, on Corvin, for extra damage there. So that was just complete luck there. Kill them all. Every last one of them. No stair skip. No stair skip because this is serious. <sighs> die, 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 die! Okay, time to take you down. Uh, the blade combo should kill you. Or not. Crap. Don't heal yourself, please. That was slow. I should have. I should have done all three arts for killing. Come on, loads, come on. Be nice, be nice. Come on. These loads are making me very anxious. Holy shit, that was a long ass load. These loads always just seem long for no reason. I guess it's because it's like loading in different areas, which makes sense. I don't think this is gonna kill from here. Okay, that was good. I can't help but look at the timer and just see, like, these loads take forever. I just can't help but look at that. Bruh. Bruh! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I fucking hate this game. Okay, time to take you down. Fuck this now. game. <laughs> Fuck low times. <laughs> Alright, well, can we save somehow 30 seconds on this final boss? Let's see. It sounds fun. You just leave it to me. I'll use my brains Count to put this you. team to good use. Okay, where are we? I will to? do my best to prove my worth. I will do my best to prove my worth. <sighs> Alright, so I don't think a tie can happen. But I do think a uh, sub 358 can happen. I don't I'm not completely sure about tie, though. So assuming um, I get the quick kill or the break on uh, both phases. Cause it's it's gonna come down to the wire for sure. <laughs> if I'm so mad, man, I can't I can't let it tilt me. I'm I'm thinking about the gen thing. I just don't let that tilt me. Just don't don't think about it, Leon. I guess, I guess there's one thing to say if this run does finish well, is that I did it with no SS chips. 
And I think that's a put that puts a lot more value and says a lot more about this run. Considering the world record goes two minutes out of the way to uh, get the SS chips and I don't. I, I think that says something about the potential of this run still. It's 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 not about winning the war. It's about sending a message. <laughs> Isn't that right, Polecats, if you're in chat? Yeah, I skipped the SS chips, uh, cause you theoretically don't need them if you get really good RNG. It's my rat scan of it, my coup de gravy. I'm gonna keep saying coup de gravy, I'm gonna make that my catchphrase. Just like you from Bravely Second. Yup. Carry on his legacy. We gotta carry on Doc Mob's legacy. Alright. It's, it's showtime. Let's go. I don't know if I have enough potions, but we should be fine. Oh, I messed that up. But we should be fine. I didn't get enough potions, but this sh should end it right here. Crap. I think sub, sub 358 is dead. Because <laughs> I'm dumb. Oh no, I can actually blame it on the RNG actually, with the potion placements. Legit, a legit criticism. But hey, if I can be within 30 seconds of the record, then that's whatever, man. I'm more than happy about that. Oh, more egg died surprisingly as well. Rex, heal me. Thank you. Okay, that's one break. I don't the one I don't need. GG. We win. We win. Oh, why did I pull out Wolfram? I thought I had draw mark here. Whoops. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Alright, I'm gonna use adding in here. Excellent. 
Okay. Actually, I think I ended in the timer a little bit too early. I think it's like a 3.58 of uh, 15, but I am more than fucking happy with that. That is A-OK. -okay. That is alright with me. Here I go! I am yeah. more than happy with that run. Being, like, 30-ish seconds off world record. That is okay with me. And not getting SS chips. If I literally just didn't get trolled by that Jin fight there, that was... I'm very proud of myself. Swift, thank you for the sub so much. Thank you so much. Let's get this done. So uh. we can move on for the future. Oh, thank you all for uh sticking by. I appreciate it a lot. Um Gosh, this was such a... This run... Well, so let's go back to the beginning. This run from the beginning. Uh, please mouse scroll up. So, chapter one, I have a... What's my time for that one? If I could scroll correctly. A 10.51. A 10.51 is actually a pretty good chapter one time. F pretty great phenomenal uh, chapter one time, meaning a lot of the fights uh, had very good RNG uh, with Jin and Malice working with you. It's all about uh, your, how your AI... Um, works with you because Rex really doesn't have a lot of control or damage at all. Chapter 2 is kind of a whatever chapter. A lot of the fights went my way this chapter. There was no real big mess ups with, I guess, Brog, Dugo, and Morag, more so to say. Um, I could theoretically save more time off the split here if I just didn't pull any blades at all. I could have like a low 43, like 4, 43 20. Uh, chapter 3. I lose like 50 seconds straight up to Arachno, which is unacceptable, but I just decided to keep going. So I can definitely improve on that here, and I'm technically on a very good pace. I would have a uh, 114-ish. Um, chapter 4 chapter four was actually very good. Um, I lost a minute to Blade Pools, but that was alright uh, for me personally. Uh, you never want to have a minute loss of blade pools when going for a really good time. Uh, so that's okay. Uh, I got Boreas, Perun, and Finch. So those are all the god blades, uh, god blades, even though it took me a minute to get Boreas. <laughs> um, no major pickups with any of the boss fights. Outside of Zeke. My, I had a, a horrendous Zeke. <laughs> like, the, the Zeke fight was just, oh my god, it was the stupidest fight ever. Um, I gained a lot of time here on Lila too. I don't remember why exactly that was. Just think of the world. Uh, I think I had a chain attacker in my PV, that's why. Uh, Troke and Mika was okay. Chapter 5, you see here, uh, me skipping the SS chips puts me 6 minutes ahead. Uh, just right off the bat like that. Um, Jin fight kind of went south, so I had to chain attack. And with that, I skipped chain attack on Giga Rose, putting me 6 minutes ahead. Uh, yeah, the Arachno fight was very bad. I lost 50 seconds there. Uh, I'm not even gonna gonna talk about this trio fight here. I mean, this Jin fight here. Uh, that's so bad. There's so much. There's so much improvements I can do over the run. Definitely caught up a lot in chapter uh, nine. That's my chapter nine time. Uh, 11:43. Wow. Um. I'm going to, uh, I'm probably going to turn off the camera, uh, turn off the mic, and I'm just going to, I just want to let the ending play out. I feel like I've earned that with a sub four. So, uh, uh, you guys can stick around if you want to. Um, yeah, that's it for me. And if what you've got isn't enough for you, well, you can always leave things to the next generation. You've got a point. Surprisingly enough.
What's going on? Centrifugal force. However, everything below this point, the world tree itself, will fall apart on top of all rest. No, that can't. The impact would destroy. There, there has to be a way to stop it. Pyra, please. Pyra. There is one way. Just one way to prevent it. Five stories down from here, there's a control room for the correction boosters. If we can fire the booster jets and accelerate the whole world tree beyond escape velocity. Look, I haven't got a clue about boosters or velocities, but I'm gathering that we gotta get there and fast. Okay, five floors down. Let's hurry. Azurda, Poppy. Hmm? What did you say? P Poppy could not possibly. Please. You're the only ones I can ask. But... Poppy... You promised... Didn't you? That pillow belt... Please... Piece of work. What? What is this? Ships. Is this a port? Oh. <sighs> Pyro. What are you doing there? Where's the control room? Pyra! You can't mean... I'm sorry. This was the first lie I ever told you. Pyra! The only way to stop the World Tree's collapse is to use the last of Ion's power and annihilate the World Tree. I'm sorry, it is the only way. You all need to use one of those escape vessels and get as far away as possible. 
What? The last of Aeons? Pyra! What are you doing? It'll... it'll be fine, right? You'll deal with the World Tree, then come back, right? Wait! Just wait, I'll come with you! Damn it! There's not enough wire! I got it! Poppy? Poppy? It not okay. Huh? Poppy cannot. What do you mean you can't? Poppy may promise. Pyra say that Rex for sure ask Poppy. Say not help Rex, no matter what. What kind of promise is that? Please, I'm begging you. All you gotta do is take me over there. The rest of you can just... Rex. Come on. Please. She's right there. Rex. Gramps. Sometimes a man must know when to let go. Why? Why? Do it for her, Rex. Do as she asks. Grumps! Chum, how long are you planning on being a baby? She's the girl you love. You've got to accept her decision. That's what being an adult means. Rex, I am so thankful that I've met all of you. Oh, Crystal. You'll be fine without me now. Fire up.
I hope you'll help me. together was short, a fraction by long, long years. But it's been warmer and brighter than any time I can remember before. You shone a light on my melancholy path. You showed me the way. So tell me, how was it? Do you really want to know? Well... Suit me best. Grumps! We're heading down. Everybody grab onto something. Cloud C is. The Titans are. gone. I can't believe it. Is everyone dead? We were too late. At the land of Martha. So there's nothing left of the world but ruins? We're crossing that rift! Look! 
Titans. They're joining with the land. It's true. I think... I see what Klaus meant by restoring the world. We're finally here.